So, um, just a quick update on what's happening with uh, Tommy Robinson. I, I phoned the Home Office today to find out if uh, uh, Sajid Javid uh, was the person who was involved in the transfer uh, of Tommy Robinson to Leicester Prison. And uh, I don't think, uh, I've been told by the, uh, the Home Office that it was the Justice um, Office or the Justice Department who is run by David Gawk. Um, who actually signed off on the transfer of um, Tommy Robinson to Leicester. So what we'd like to do, what we're asking Mr Go, and we're going to um, contact him through the Guerrilla TV channel, uh, is if he wants to come on board and actually do uh, an interview on the Guerrilla TV channel, just to explain uh, why Tommy has been uh, transferred to Leicester Prison. It's very strange, I find it very interesting that um, the prison population... Uh, in Leicester is uh, 70 percent Muslim, uh, or over seventy percent. When uh, as uh, well, when uh, Muslims only make up three percent of the UK's population, um, or up maybe four percent. But uh, it was a, I was a bit surprised at why this is so high, and that's certainly something that uh, we should be looking into. I don't know whether. Um, Muslims are um, being persecuted or whether or not they're just breaking the law on a greater sort of a, a, a proportionate basis than what is actually happening just now. But um, it certainly was a, a strange to find out what was actually happening in that prison. And especially if there's a threats um, to his life, um, then uh, Mr Goke, if he was the one who actually transferred um, Tommy Robinson to the prison, uh, would have to be responsible for that transfer request. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try, I'll um, contact him by email. I've got his email address and see if he's prepared to come on uh, the television and on, the, on a broadcast and an interview with me to uh, just explain these actions and why this has happened. I think he has a responsibility to explain what is actually happening to Tommy Robinson and what he should be doing uh, with regards to uh, his security. Um, so uh, it was a bit of a strange um, uh, request to move him to Leicester. So we think we should, he should be able to um, justify his actions. So it doesn't look like it was uh, Sajid Javid uh, who actually transferred Tommy. Well, we, we'll soon find out if it's Sajid or uh, David who were actually the, the people who signed off on the transfer. So we're looking forward to um, finding out and uh, speaking to either either um, Sajid or um, David and uh, find out exactly what's happening what the, the thoughts behind uh, transferring his request to Leicester. And, uh, well, uh, well, hopefully they'll get back. I've got a slight suspicion that they won't get back. As it seems to be that the modern politician doesn't feel it's answerable to the public. Uh, soft questions, and they don't actually... Uh, soft questions on the, the state broadcasters, and they don't like to be interviewed with slightly more testing questions, although they are meant to be our representatives. So we shall uh, see over the next period of time um, if uh, the, Mr uh, Gok or even uh, Mr Javid are prepared to come on the Gorilla TV co uh, channel and actually answer questions that we have with regards to Tommy Robinson. OK, uh, just a wee quick one. I just thought I would update. So I've already been in contact with the Home Office and also the Justice Department uh, to try and speak to um, uh, Mr Javid and Mr uh, Gok as well. So I just thought I would update you guys, okay? Yell up.